Welcome to the 45th installment in Trading Strategy Guides Trading Education Series. Today I'm going to show you another one of my favorite trading strategies. Here it comes. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Thanks for coming back for this installment of our Trading Education Series. Today I'm going to show you another one of my favorite trading strategies, a moving average strategy that I've used for my trading picks some in the past. I call it the MAX strategy. The chart pattern trading strategy I showed you in the last installment is my primary strategy. I look for the chart patterns first. If I don't find enough patterns setting up, I turn on my moving averages and look for this MAX setup. The name MAX is short for moving average cross, but I want to stress early on I'm not looking for two moving averages to cross each other. If you wait for that to happen, you're going to be way late on your trade entries. As you can see here, the reversal happened way before the moving averages crossed. For this chart, I've used a purple 50 period simple moving average on the close and a 20 period simple moving average on the close. We expect the faster 20 period moving average to be above the 50 when the price is in an uptrend and the 20 to be below the 50 when the price is in a downtrend. In retrospect, we can see the reversal to the uptrend happened right in here in the price, but the moving averages crossed to the upside way over here. Then the reversal to the downtrend happened here, but the moving averages didn't cross until way down here. Then the big uptrend started right here, but the move was half over before the moving averages crossed up here. Now obviously there's no way to know when the price reverses until after the fact. But looking back at this chart, you can see the moving average cross always occurs very late. So what is the solution? Well, one solution is to change the shorter moving average to something very small, like three periods for example. You can see the yellow short moving average follows the price very closely, so the crossover of the 50 period SMA is much earlier. But I actually prefer to look for the price to cross over the moving average to trigger the trade. So let's talk about the MAX strategy. The first thing I do is add a 100 period simple moving average. In this case I'm using a light blue line for this one. I use this line primarily because it's used a lot by smart money traders to establish the trend on the daily chart, which of course I prefer to trade on. If the price is above the 100, I look only for buy signals, and if the price is below the 100, I look only for sell signals. The next thing I do is to add the 20 period exponential moving average. I use this to measure the pullback during the trending period. As you know, markets don't just move up and down in a straight line, they breathe. They breathe when they're consolidating, they breathe when they're trending, they breathe in and out, in and out. So when the price is trending upward, it will push up for a bit, then pull back for a bit before taking off to make a new high, and so on. This strategy is designed to take advantage of the pullbacks to get into the move at the best time. Now, please understand there is nothing magical about these moving averages. They are simply lines in the sand, so to speak. These are just the settings that I use. You can use the 50 and the 200, for example, or the 10 and the 50. Just experiment with different settings. You may find something more effective for the markets you like to trade. So let's take a look at the rules for a buy signal in the MAX strategy. Number one, be sure the moving averages are fairly well spaced with the 20 EMA above the 100 SMA. Number two, wait for the price to pull back with a candle close below the 20. Number three, wait for the price to move back up with a candle close above the 20 for a buy signal. This will be where you'll take your buy trade. Step four, place your stop loss below the prior swing low. Step five, take first profit when the price touches the prior swing high. And then number six, trail your stops below each candle on the remainder until the market takes you out. Of course, this also works for sell signals as well, just reverse all of the trade directions. And I can't stress this enough. Practice, practice, practice. Understand the strategy intimately before you try to use it. I think you'll find this strategy to be very simple and effective. And that's it for today's video. Next week we'll be looking at a MACD trading strategy. And be sure to come back Friday for my strategy of the week and next Monday for my trade picks video. My videos come out at 3 p.m. New York time on those days. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. Remember the only stupid question is the unasked one. If this video helped you, smash the like below, 
Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of our videos in the future. Have a great Wednesday, and I'll see you on Friday.